Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about what are the common places that we can take the pulse of an individual. First I start with the concept of pulse. When left ventricle contracts and pushes blood into the arteries, we know that the closest arteries to the left ventricle are elastic arteries. These are large arteries that their wall has elasticity. Basically by receiving blood the wall expands and then recoils back. When we find these arteries close to the surface of our body and more importantly if we are able to compress them against a firm structure such as bone that's the moment we can detect that waving pressure and this pressure as we know when we are moving away from the heart starts dropping and when we get to the capillaries we no longer have that waving pressure anymore so we are limited to the arteries to detect the pulse and the number of pulse that we detect indicates the number of contractions of ventricles especially in this case we're talking about the left ventricle so there are many places you can detect a pulse of an individual for example if from the ear you go toward the midline, kind of anterior to the ear, you should be able to detect the superficial temporal pulse. Close to the corner of the mouth, but in the lower jawbone, you should detect facial pulse. But the most common place to take the pulse of an individual would be the radial pulse. So I go above the wrist and I know radius is the bone that sits laterally exactly above the wrist but medial to these bony projections I press using my index and middle finger so that's very important do not use your thumb because it mixes your pulse with the pulse of that individual so I'm detecting my own radial pulse that's the most common place and if you count the number of pulses in one minute that would be your heart rate another common place would be brachial pulse this is very important for us especially when we take the blood pressure uh, first of all the hand of that individual should be at rest and then above the elbow you press medial to biceps brachia so that muscle is biceps brachia medial to that you press and detect the brachial pulse. So brachial pulse and radial pulse are very important. There is also one very important pulse called carotid pulse. Uh, in the neck area you first find the larynx of the individual which is not really difficult because Adam's apple is thyroid cartilage. That's the largest cartilage in larynx. Lateral to that you press and you detect the carotid pulse. This is also very important, especially if someone is suddenly unconscious. We take the carotid pulse because that's an indication whether brain still is receiving oxygenated blood or not. And the next thing in this video, I wanna just quickly uh, show you how to use a stethoscope to listen to the heart sounds. First of all, after cleaning the earpieces, make sure that they sit forward. They're following your ear canal, that's very important. After you place them, first step that you do, tap on this. If you don't hear anything, means it's off, you have to turn it, and now when I tap on it, I can hear the sound. And to start, if you haven't done this before, always start with the apex of the heart. We know that Basically, apex of the heart sits on the diaphragm. So from midline, go a little bit to the left, and you're placing this exactly on the lower part of the left mammary region. But make sure that still you have to be in the thoracic. Don't go inside abdominal. That's one of the best places that we can start with to listen to the heart sounds. And after we learn about this, then we can go with different intercoastal spaces.